People living with disabilities in Katsina State are accusing the Katsina State government of attempting to shortchange them and are calling for immediate intervention of the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs. This is coming a few days after the Minister's visit to Katsina State where she disbursed some cash assistance under the National Social Investment Programme. In Katsina, Abdullahi Yamadi reports that the scheme targeted 7,000 persons who will each benefit 20,000 Naira. Since our departure from Katsina, people with disabilities are struggling to get what they perceive as theirs, despite there being a list of beneficiaries approved by Minister of Humanitarian Affairs. They are claiming that the minister stated categorically during the event that out of the 7,000 beneficiaries, 1,400, which is the 20% of the total number, should be people living with disabilities. However, it is surprising that only 29 people living with disabilities have collected 20,000 Naira each, and they are asking what will be the fate of the remaining 1,380. We are not happy with this development. It is absolutely important for the Office of the Honorable Minister to hear this. All our members in Katsina disowned the disbursement. And as you promised, everybody will be collecting his money before leaving the hall on that day. After she departed, uh, the official tell us that we should go and come back tomorrow. And on Friday, we met with them and they said yet they are not with our list. We should hold a bit. Our list on Wednesday when they give calls to our chairman and he went there, they only give us 30 persons. And out of the 30 persons, only 29 of them settle. Several attempts were made to get the response of the special advisor Abdul Qadir Mama Nasser without success. However, sources close to his office have described the claims put forward by people with special needs as untrue. As the special advisor to Governor Masari, I'm not aware of what is happening. When I heard them complaining, I intervened by advising our members to self-pedal. The sources point out that the office of the special advisor has no connection with the payment Neither did it have anything to do with the generation of the list of targeted beneficiaries, as is being claimed. Abdullahi Ismayamadi, Trust Television News, Katana.